What's popping ladies and gentlemen, today's show buzz dives into one of the most infamous beefs in the musical industry that almost splitted Jamaica into two and its effects are still felt today. It's none other than the Gully vs Gaza beef embedded in the Jamaican dancehall scene that saw a bloody feud between two top musician Vibes Cartel and Mavado including their protégés. This field left a bloody mess in not only Jamaica but also found its way into Kenya and the results were not pleasant. So, how did all this begin? First we shall take a quick look at the two artists who have some contrasting personalities and different tones. Vibes Cartel, whose name is Adija Azim Palma, was born in 1976 in the town of Portmore, Jamaica and he is known by his other two nicknames Wild Boss and Adi Teacher. Vibes Cartel burst into the music scene in the 90s after being mentored by the legendary dancehall figure Bounty Killer. Vibes Cartel's lyrics have been termed as provocative, hence earning a hero persona from his hometown of Portmore to the world. Cartel has been rebeller since childhood and this was witnessed in a 2003 sting when he attacked and assaulted fellow singer Ninja Man on stage. <laughs> And this made Cartel to become the first singer to attack another musician on stage. On the other hand, Movado, whose real name is David Constantine Brooks, is the exact opposite of Vibes Cartel. Movado was born in 1980 in Guli area of Jamaica. Just like Cartel, Movado was brought to the scene by Bounty Killer and the rest is history. Unlike Cartel, Movado is a calm individual who converses in low tones and is said to be slow to anger. His lyrics are classified as meditative and his music is viewed as one aiming at the consumer soul. Now that we have briefly looked into the two artists' profiles, let's now get into what led to their violent beef. Just like any other musical beefs, the two started off as great friends. Vibes Cartel with the upper hand and more experience than Mavado would actually script some of Mavado's earliest hits. Shockingly, the Gully vs Gaza beef did not start with Vibes Cartel and Mavado. The beef began with the dancehall king Biniman and Bounty Killer when Bounty Killer's girlfriend D Angel dumped him for Biniman and the two were wed in a million dollar wedding. However, few months later, once again, D Angel broke up with Biniman and returned to Bounty Killer. Now, Mavado started disregarding Vibes Cartel who had played a key role in launching his young career and aligned himself with Bounty Killer. Killer. Vibes Cartel, who was left fuming, inclined with Biniman and soon hell broke loose. This was the genesis of the Gaza belonging to Cartel and Guli belonging to Mavado. It was a beef characterized by fights on stage and in the ghettos by youths identifying each other with the groups. It led to numerous deaths of youths, making a simple celebrity beef turn into a national disaster. The two artists appeared on screen in an event with tight security, asking for forgiveness, promised to stop the bloodshed. I mean, me and vibes. We're not really enemies, you know what I mean? So as I speak, me and Vibes right here. It's like, no, that is what we're bringing back now. So in the beginning of our meeting, so is it in the end of the war. So we're coming back with... <laughs> But this was short-lived. In 2009, the both artists now the biggest in Jamaica at that time clashed on a stage where Vibes Cartel obviously bodied Mavado. <laughs> Vibes Cartel appeared clad in a full military gear and a coffin where he claimed that he was to bury Mavado. Mavado entered the stage in a black mask and hurled insults to his rival.
the rivalry was further escalated to another level when both sides recruited members to their turf. Mavado's Guli side had Mavado as their leader and other notable members such as Savage, Alkaline, DJ Frass, Natural, Russ Barrow, and many others. On the other side, Vibes Cartel recruited Popcorn, Black Rhino, Tommy Lee Sparta, Vanessa Bling aka Gaza Slim, Sheba, Sean Storm, and many more. This time the beef became messy with death and bloodshed among the youths making the government to intervene. The beef slightly went down after Vibes Cartel was arrested and in prison for life due to charges of murder of one of his closest associates. Following the incarceration of Vibes Cartel, the leaderless Gaza soon became unruly. Soon the faction began crumbling and bitter rivalry began among the members. The notable one was between Popcorn and Black Rhino when the two clashed at 2012 Sting in a bid to prove who was the most loyal to Vibes Cartel. Since then, the Gulliver's Gaza war has disappeared and normalcy has returned to the dancehall stage. Each artist has gone their separate ways to achieve personal success. Popcorn and Mavado have burst into the American musical scene and have secured successful projects with superstars like Nicki Minaj, Drake, DJ Khaled, Icehood, and many more. The bloody Gaza vs. Gully celebrity beef has left an infamous mark in the streets of Jamaica, but we thank God that it was finally extinguished. Till next time, cheers.